back to Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Thursday, August 1st, 2019. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Thursday edition of Muscle in the Morning, where we're coming in hot today with a new update from reigning and defending Olympia champ, Sean Roden, who says, quote, we're still in prep mode for the big show. Yesterday, we reported on an open letter that Sean addressed to his fans last Sunday, and it doesn't feel like a coincidence that they're following up that statement with headline news like this only a few days later. Truth be told, no one has any idea where this situation is going in the courtroom or on a bodybuilding stage. Will Sean be cleared to compete and come back to defend his title this year? It seems very unlikely. We also have another update on the Larry Wheel saga. In case you missed it, powerlifter slash strongman slash bodybuilder slash media personality Larry Wheels was accused of domestic abuse by his ex-girlfriend, which immediately blew up all over the internet, causing a ton of controversy. Then, after waiting a few days for the flames to die down, Larry used his gigantic YouTube platform to address the rumors head-on a few days ago. And of course, he categorically denied all allegations. No one really actually knows what's going on except those two. And in a video I made a few days ago on RX Muscle, I alluded to the fact that there were a lot of elements in both of their stories that seemed to mesh well. But the police evidence does seem to suggest that if there was some sort of domestic dispute, that Larry never indeed put his hands on the girl. Again, only the two of them know what really happened. Updates as more facts present themselves. Sometimes a mental and physical rest is just what the doctor ordered to get you back in the right space. And after almost a full year away from the figure scene, Melissa Valier seems like she's starting to get back to that happy place. Over the last few weeks, the former Olympia standout's been dropping hints all over her social media accounts that she's ready to start getting back to doing what she does best, which means that somebody in the top 10's probably about to get bumped off. Mel's been one of the more exciting young prospects that we've had in the division for the better part of the last two years. So I hope that we do see her come back full throttle because figure's definitely a little more fun when she's up there mixing it up. This weekend's Tampa Pro lineup looks like they're loaded across the board in every division. But when you look down the roster at some of the names in the classic physique division, to me, Ricky Moten Jr. is the one that shoots right to the top of the list. Earlier this week, Team Moten released a handful of updates that show their guy looking a lot bigger and fuller than he did back at the start of the season. Ricky had a really strong start to the season with what he did at the Arnold and the New York Pro. But this show down in Tampa looks like it could be the best chance to grab a last minute Olympia qualification. As a second year guy, this is a golden opportunity to prove himself at a show that's going to get a lot of coverage. So if he holds up on his end of the deal, he could walk out of the weekend with a ton of momentum heading down the home stretch. One of the other guys we have our eyes on heading into the Tampa show this weekend is potential rookie star, Sean Smith. The former super heavyweight standout is all set to make his pro debut this weekend in Tampa against a lineup of guys that look absolutely insane on paper. By his own admission, Smith's had a tendency to look his best a week or so out from his shows in the past. But his team says that this time around, things will be different. Pound for pound, Sean should have as much muscle as anyone else in the field but it'll still be interesting to see how he stacks up against the Dexter Jacksons of the world once the bright lights finally come on. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.